Sorry to keep you waiting. The Russian military has begun a brutal assault on the people of Ukraine. Without provocation, <clears throat> without justification, without necessity, this is a premeditated attack. This was never about a genuine security concerns on their part. It was always about naked aggression, about Putin's desire for empire by any means necessary, by bullying Russia's neighbors through coercion and corruption, by changing borders by force, and ultimately by choosing a war without a cause. He has much larger ambitions in Ukraine. He wants to, in fact, reestablish the former Soviet Union. That's what this is about. And I think that his, uh, his ambitions uh, are, are completely contrary to the place where the rest of the world has arrived. And Putin's aggression against Ukraine will end up costing Russia dearly economically and strategically. We will make sure of that. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. But this aggression cannot go unanswered. If it did, the consequences for America would be much worse. America stands up to bullies. We stand up for freedom. This is who we are. We will limit Russia's ability to do business in dollars, euros, pounds, and yen to be part of the global economy. We'll limit their ability to do that. We're going to stunt the ability of, to finance and grow Rus the, the Russian military. We're going to impose major — and we're going to impair their ability to compete in high-tech 21st century economy. We've already seen the impact of our actions on Russia's currency and the ruble, which early today hit its weakest level ever, ever in history. The Russia stock market plunged today. The Russian government borrowing rates spiked by over 15 percent. In today's actions, we've now sanctioned Russian banks that together hold around $1 trillion in assets. As promised, we're also adding the names to the list of Russian elites and their family members that are sanctioning — that were sanctioned as well. Some of the most powerful impacts our actions will come over time. As we squeeze Russians' access to finances and technology for strategic sectors of its economy, and degrade its industrial capacity for years to come. The United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. And the good news is, NATO is more united and more determined than ever. We have purposefully designed these sanctions to maximize the long-term impact on Russia and to minimize the impact on the United States and our allies.